hello welcome to my channel so we get the power one if you find that this video resonate with you please hit the like button please comment down below subscribe hit the notification bell so you never miss out any of my uploads also if this video resonate with you check out my other readings they may resonate with you as well I already saved some of the cards and shuffled over the decks as well we're gonna hop right into it babies and yeah we're gonna get in this energy if you're new i hope that you join the stay if you're in turn to subscribe thank you so much for being here thank you so much for giving me all your love and light and peace i really appreciate you guys continue comment down below because i read all your comments and yeah we're gonna get into it if you're interested in my patreon and personal readings that's down below in the description box so how do men view you how, how do they currently feel about you how do they currently view you let's get into this energy how do men feel about you how do men feel about you when it comes to your energy how do men feel about your energy okay oh we got abundance okay we also got anger uh, we got conscious in reverse here okay so let's get into this energy and the bottom of the deck we have illumination in reverse okay so men view you as someone who has a lot of abundance you have a lot of great things going for yourself um they view you as somebody that has a really good head on your shoulder um they feel like anything that you touch or anything that you put your mind to it can grow into anything that you want it to grow into um men can even feel like um you have um Men can even feel like you're intimidated as well. Um, it could be because of your abundance or whatever. It does not have to be. But men can find you very intimidated. I mean, beginning there, there's certain men that are intimidated because of your abundance. So, you know, whether you're a man watching this or you're a woman watching this, regardless of who you are, um, there's something about you being very abundant. You have a lot of things for yourself. A lot of you have a good head on your shoulder. And that can anger a couple men here um some men could be anger angry or have some type of anger because of what you have going for yourself so i don't know y'all you don't know me babes um but what i can say here is um again i don't know who y'all if again because if i'm reading for a lot of people here so some of you guys are not y'all don't like men but y'all want to know how they view y'all then some of y'all y'all do like men so y'all just got to take a risk and leave what does it. i just want to put that out there but men feel like you're very abundant. You have a lot of great things going for yourself. But with this anger card being here, I feel like that can anger some men. Um, with the illumination reverse, that can even talk about things not being brought to the light. Um, we got the conscious in reverse. That could even talk about, you know, not thinking clearly. Um, you have having hasty thoughts, you know. It can even talk about things not being revealed to you as well with Nexus Illumination card, Conscious. So this is how men are viewing y'all. Men are viewing you as someone that is a go-getter. You're very ambitious. You have abundance. Anything that you put your mind to can, can grow rapidly. And I feel like for a few of you guys, this do anger a couple men. They, they kind of are angry by your worth ethic or they're angry by whatever you have going for yourself. This is abundance. And with Illumination here in reverse, that's something that y'all don't see. Some of you guys, you may, some men may not show it. Or whatever the case may be, they might not show it on their face, but this is how they feel in the inside. So this is how men feel about y'all. Men feel like you're very abundant. Um, they feel like you anything that you grow can any, anything that you put your mind to can grow. This is their this is how they feel. Uh, and I'm not getting this is all men. So you do have some men here though that is kind of angry about what you did build for yourself, what you have going on for yourself. Um, the consciousness that you have, the mindset that you have. Because in order for you to get wherever you are, you have some type of mindset that get got you there whatever y'all doing power one and this is how men are viewing you so let's get into so this is how they feel about you as far as like viewing you um in that way of form this is just certain men it's not all men but you do have some that yeah we got growth in reverse because they're not growing we got frustration here see what i'm saying um uh, i got to call what comes out you know I, I don't give out messages that fit people um i call what i see i'll keep it real on this channel um there are men that feel like they're frustrated okay so this is what i'm this is what i am saying i'm gonna read it from both ways if you are someone that's interested in men some men may be intimidated by you they may feel like you're out of their league um there could be certain men that feels frustrated because of not having as much as you have or they can feel frustrated because they may feel like they're lacking something they may feel like they're stagnant or something here with this growth card in reverse there's something here where this person is lacking or um, they may feel like they're lacking in some type of way. You may make men feel like they're lacking. You may make them feel like they need to get their shit together. Um, if you are someone that just want to know how men view you and you're not interested in men, this is how they view you. They view you as very abundant. They view you as having a lot of things that come to you. They may, some men may feel frustrated because of, um, things not growing as quickly as whatever you're doing for you. So let's, let's move on from this as well. We got 444 here on the clock. So that's going to be something that y'all are seeing. We got balance in reverse as well. So how is my man viewing power one? How is men viewing power one? 
Okay, we got wild in reverse. So men can view as someone that's um innocent for some of you guys. Some of you guys may can view as someone that's inexperienced or you could come off as inexperienced or you could just come off as very sweet. You don't come off as any pressure. So a man can feel like um you're a homebody, make it feel like you're the kind of woman or, you know, guy that would be in the home, be in the house, cooking, you know, watching TV shows, um, things like that. They don't feel like um, you're the one that gets out a lot. Um, for some of you guys, yeah, they don't feel like you get out a lot. Um, men can also view as a woman you cooperate, um, you're very successful. Um, they feel like you, that you're easy to talk to. They're able, they're, uh, you're easy to um, get to. Also, men feel like you're very attractive, modestly. Like, you don't have to show skin to grab their attention. Um, you get their attention just as much as people that have their clothes off. So, there's something about you being modest or you not, you know, being able to attract their attention by also you being modest, you know. We got pride in the reverse. So, men can view as somebody where you're not prideful. Um, You won't throw things in people's face. Um, You're very honest as well. They view you as an honest person. They also view you as being able to open up to you or feel like they can open up to you some way, shape, or form. You give them that um energy or they feel like that. Um, make it feel like you're very stubborn, though. Make it feel like um you don't like to listen to people or you don't like to take advice from certain individuals Um, that may not be may not have the best um um oh for some of you guys men could uh not like the fact that you do not listen to them i'm getting this energy where you come up as very sweet very kind uh you know very nice some of y'all could be intimidated because of what you have for yourself or because of the way that you think because of your conscience here uh with the pride here reverse you're not somebody that's prideful um y'all really um I'm, I'm here homegrown, so make a view you as homegrown. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. It's crazy because we got home at the bottom of the deck now, and I'm saying homegrown. That's so crazy. So men are um, viewing you as someone that's homegrown. So I mean, like, I could mean they seeing that you're built naturally. Uh, for others of you, that can even, I don't know what that means, but I'm, the word homegrown, homegrown. It's coming through. It's so funny because it's coming through. Um, but yeah, this is how men are viewing you guys. They're viewing you as someone that's very smart. Um, you got a good hit on your shoulders. Um, I'm also getting this energy where it, they can feel like you're very stubborn. You don't like. Uh, I might even get stubborn when it comes to pride. You're just stubborn on not listening. Men can feel like you don't listen to what they say. Like if a man says, "I like a woman that like this," or "I like a woman that like that," or a man that like this, or "I like this or that," you're not listening to that. It's almost like you. And I think men respect you more because of this because you stay your own person or whatever the case may be. Um, there's something about you staying your own person and not letting men influence you and in how you think or infiltrate how you think or anything like that. And I think that's what makes you stand out as well. So this is what men are noticing about you. You don't listen to them, or you kind of move to the beat of your own drum. Oh, men can even view you as very, very attractive. Yeah, men view you as someone where you're a homebody. Um, you you're someone that you won't find out at in the club or at, at the party all the time. Um, as well, men can even view you as someone that's very attractive. Where men can even kind of want to undress you with their eyes as well. There's something about your feet. Men feel like you have really beautiful feet or really pretty feet. Something about your feet is um here. Men feel like you have really gorgeous feet, especially if the, if there's certain men that are feet per people. Uh, there's something about you that's very soft. So men like your hair. They like your features. They like your body. Some of you guys, um, men can really like your back. It's something about your back that men love. They love your feet and they love your back. Um, men can even be very territorial over you as well. Some of you guys, there could be some men that likes that your homebody. For others of you, if you are someone that's out and about or you out there in the scene, men could be very territorial of you, even a little bit jealous over you. They, Because I'm, I'm seeing the snake here, and it's almost like the, she's walking away, and the snake is kind of like defending her. So there can just be this energy where men can feel like they want to protect you or provide for you. I'm even getting this energy where men could be very jealous over you. They don't want... Um, they don't want you to, I'm getting some men like the fact that you're not a homebody. And for the ones that's not a homebody, men could kind of want to be, make y'all homebodies or want y'all to be homebodies for them or something like that here. So y'all got to take what resonate, leave what doesn't and put yourself on whatever end of the stick you're on babies. But yeah, we got half faith. So men be, have believe in you as well. Um, men could even view you as someone where you're not prideful of anything that comes, anything when it comes to you, you use your faith. We, oh, men can feel like you were able to create anything that you want to create. Men can even feel like you're able to get over challenges, any hurdles in the way. Um, men can feel like you went through a lot in life. You have learned a lot. Um, men can even feel like you know the game. I don't know why that's coming through, but they can feel, feel like you know the game. You know how certain men, you know what to look for. Um, this is what I'm seeing here. So let's get some more inner. Oop, y'all. This tarot card flew all the way over. Hold on, y'all. Like, why would you fly all the way over there? I had to literally get up. I'm not being...
sorry y'all okay Ooh. okay so yeah and it's crazy how the tarot card just came over the oracle card i'm trying to tell y'all there is if you are the type of person where you're out and about men don't like that shit i'm gonna be honest with you they don't like that shit there are certain men that find you be very attractive very sexy where they could almost kind of want to keep you up in the house they kind of want you to be a homebody so if you are a homebody men like that if you're not a homebody there's certain men that kind of want you to be a homebody they want you to turn over a new leaf you know they don't want you to um they don't want you to be out and about all the time or when i say out and about i'm just getting like going to parties and stuff like that this is how men are viewing viewing y'all Ooh, i like this men feel like they can work with you men can feel like you're not somebody that gets jealous you're able to work with other people men can feel like you're able to be around other people and work with other people without feeling jealous without feeling like you control things men like the fact that you allow them to lead so if you are a woman that's interested in men or a man that's interested in men they like the fact that you allow them to lead they like the fact that you don't try to overpower power them or something like that uh, men also like the way that you get along with other people they notice how you work with other people they notice how you get along with other people they notice how other people treat you they find that to be very attractive as well men like the way that people treat you they like the way that you treat people this is how men are viewing you how is men viewing my pile one? Men view as someone where you the kind of person where you're you men can view as somebody that's a really good communicator. Um when something's not growing or something's not going the pace that you want it to do, you communicate that. Um men also like the fact that you are somebody where you learn from you learn from things that you don't experience they like that there's something about you being wise learning from experiences that you never even been through or having a lot of insight um from anything that you have gone through they like that about you as well they um making the review is very motivational as well oh child man feel like you are their wish fulfillment whoever you are man feel like you are their wish fulfillment you're very attractive um it's something about you being a temptation to man um fit in their desires men feel like you is what they want to you you is what they imagine as a wife or imagine as a husband for the ones that are interested in men this is how they view you they view you as someone where you make them feel fulfilled if you are uh, somebody that's not interested in men but you want to know how they view you, this is so men view as someone where you're you, they view you as someone that you are attractive you get it like that um you may can even view you as being other people's wish fulfillment so y'all gonna have to take resonance with yourselves on whatever end of your own but there's men that feel like your wish fulfillment is for other women and then there's men that feel like your wish fulfillment is for other men um notice that your wish fulfillment you know there's something like that here um your temptation to men as well desires you you will fulfill their desires fulfill their needs men can feel like you you can fulfill their needs a man I like the fact that you're able to apologize or you you're or you're able to see things through. Men also like the fact that you're very charming, very character um you are very um artistic as well. So this is what men like about you. You're very artistic. Um the things that you're able to create. Um you also you have really good ideas off the top of your dome. We have the two of swords here. Yeah, see? And this came out right under um the wild card in reverse men don't want men could even view you as someone where they i'm trying to tell you there's some men that don't want y'all to like i don't know who what type of men y'all deal with but there's certain men that don't want y'all to be like i'm not even getting out and about it's almost like going to parties and or or without them or things like that there's certain men that could get a little jealous a little territorial over you there's certain men that cannot want you to talk to certain people i'm hearing as well but we're gonna move on from that we got the high priestess here. So men feel like I'm hearing she knows. And I know she knows. Men feel like you know. Men feel like you know exactly what they're thinking. Men feel like you see right through them as well. And I feel like that makes men puzzled. Men feel like you see right through them. Or whatever. That makes them kind of stuck. Or whatever. When I say stuck, it just makes them kind of don't know how to move with you. So men sometimes don't know how to operate with you. Because they feel like you see right through them. They don't know how to operate with you. Sometimes. so men view as someone where they like the fact that you that men like the fact that you, if you've been betrayed by anybody you did not let that lose sight of what you wanted from people as well men want to sleep with y'all there's some men that want to get in the bed with you they want to sleep with you they feel like you're your fulfillment that you are temptation it's crazy because this literally came right um the cards are literally falling right on top of the cards that it needs to follow um 
this literally just fell on the XEX appeal card. So, yeah, there's men. We got the Knight of Wands here. There's men that are very attracted to you. You are the temptation. They find you very beautiful, handsome, whatever you want to call it. Um, There's men that um, want to sleep with you. They want to sleep with you. We got the tempers in reverse. Yeah, see, men, the thing with men here that they notice about you is you will have faith and you will believe in some situation or whatever. But if it's not going where you need it to go, you will walk away. So men view as someone that will walk away if need be. Yeah, after some type of five of swords, after betrayal. Um, men also feel, some of you guys, not for everyone, but some of you guys, men know, men feel like you know if they're doing something that they don't supposed to do. Um, men knows, men also feel like they know when men think they got away with something, they know that you know about it. There's something about men knowing that you know about them trying to get away with something here. Men also know that you would create your life without them. There's something about you creating your life or having everything you need to create your life without them. Men knows this. So this is how men are viewing y'all. Um, this is pretty straightforward, y'all. I was expecting the messages to be, oh, we got the four of wands. Men can want, even want to date you, want some type of relationship with you as well. Also, men are in a relationship with you and they try to get away with anything they know you know. It's something about she knows, she knows, and I know she knows. Yeah, there's something like, even though that song was actually about the other way around, but uh, yeah. This is what I'm getting here. I'm hearing pressure. I'm hearing nobody, uh, I don't know, I know the lyrics. Who she is? Pressure. Yeah, I'm getting that song here. So make a fuck your pressure as well. Um, you know, so this is how I'm interviewing you guys. If you find out this resonate with you, hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe, hit the notification bell till next time. If you want to end that read or my Patreon, that's down below in the description box. Bye, babies. Hello, welcome to my channel. So click give the power to if you find out this read and resonate with you, please hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss out on any of my uploads. Also, if this reading resonate with you, check out my other readers. They may resonate with you as well. If you're new, loves, thank you so much for joining me, having me here today. If you're a return subscriber, welcome back, loves. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for all your love, peace, and light. And continue coming down below because I read all your comments. If you're interested in my personal readings or my Patreon, that's listed down below in the description box. I see you through the cards and stuff. Whatever that we're further to do, further we're going to hop right into it. So, pile two. How do men view you? How do men view my pile two? How do men view my pile two? So, we're going to pick them and see how do men feel about you. How do men feel about my pile two? Um, so just take what resonates. Um, if you are interested in men, take the parts that, that resonate to the ones that's interested in them. If you're not, you just want to see how other men view you or anything like that. Just take what that resonates when I say that. Okay. Okay. Let's get into it. So how do men feel about you? How do these men feel about you or men? I said these. Okay. We got ideation. So men feel, view you as an ideal partner. So men, how men view you as view you as an ideal partner. Um, uh, milk. Uh, I said meal. Oh my God. Y'all almost said milk. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I said mil, but I thought I said mil. Oh my god! So some of y'all that may resonate with y'all. Uh, um, men could view you as um, a dream partner or a life partner. Um, men could put you on a pedestal as well. Something about men putting you on a pedestal with this ideation card here. Um, men have. A, I'm getting this energy where men can have a men see you and they kind of have an idea of what you would be like. And then when you don't fit that description, I feel like that's when things kind of go downhill for some of you guys. Cause I am seeing this here, but I do feel like men kind of put you on a pedestal. They kind of um put this idea in their head or in their minds of who you may be or what you may be like men can even fantasize like men that's not with you they can even fantasize about um how you would act if they were with you you know it's it's like, almost like a far-fetched type of thing where you you see someone you're attracted to them and you really don't know them but you're attracted to them so you're having this idea of what they may be like and what they may act like until you actually get around that person so this is how men view you uh, they view you as somebody where you are their ideal partner or you would be their ideal partner um, they can put you up on a pedestal in some type of way, shape, or form um, for the ones that's interested in men. For the ones that's not interested in men, they can view you as someone that has a lot of good ideas. You think outside the box. They can also view you as being an ideal partner that people are looking for or wanting to date or wanting to have around. So, you know, this is how men are viewing you guys. We got conscious. So, men view you as self-aware. Um, You have a... Men can even view you as self-aware. Something about your ideas. You're able to produce. You some Y'all think outside of the box. Men feel like you have a really good head on y'all shoulder because of your ideas, because of y'all gifts, because of things that you're able to produce and create. Something about you being very creative here as well that men notice. Um... You could be very free spirited. Some of you guys are like a free thinker. I'm getting free write. So some of you guys can like to write or 
you know i don't know something about writing here is coming through for a couple of you guys though um men is being you as someone that's very smart um men can also be as very self-aware you know exactly what you're doing and when you're doing it um, men view as being able to see other people's um actions you know seeing how other people move how they play i'm hearing this is not uh checkers this is chess so men could uh, view you as knowing the game and that came out of power one so it's about you knowing the game so you know whatever that resonates to y'all men may feel like you know when they're onto bullshit or when they're onto certain stuff you know but again there's something about men seeing y'all being very attracted to y'all y'all being their ideal partner and then they kind of make up in their mind what you would be like how you would act or whatever it's kind of like they go far fetch it's a fantasize and it's a thinking and all of that you know this is here we got protected so make a view as somebody that's very protective you can even come off as feisty some of you guys could come off as intimidated as well um something about you being intimidating men could be intimidated by you because you come off as an ideal partner um for some of you guys there's certain characteristics that you display that men will love to have in a partner or men will love to you know date in certain people and i feel like this is why they tri triple over into that because it's almost like this you see someone they're very attractive but not only are they attractive they have certain qualities or characteristics that you're looking for in a, in a person you know so men can feel like y'all are compatible in some type of way for others of you men can feel like y'all will be good friends um they're looking for a, a good friend or somebody that they'll be able to be compatible with get along with they feel like you think they feel like you self-aware you smart you wise and they could be looking at they could be looking for people to surround a circle like that so they feel like you fit in you know um men can also view as having really great ideas uh being able to lean on you if they are if they're not able to come up with something they feel like they can get it from you as far as your imagination your source so this is how men view you guys for the ones that's not interested in men um for the ones that's not interested in men view, men view as being protective you're um you could be strong or you come up as physically or mentally strong um it's hard for people men can even feel like you don't let other people um get into your I, your men feel like you don't let other people make decisions for you there's something but whether you're a man or a woman there's something about you not letting other people make decisions for you you know what you want you know what you're looking for and you don't let other people implant you don't let other people put their visions inside your head. You don't let people tamper with your mind. You are very protective. Um, you're very self-aware. Men can feel like you have a really good head on, head on your shoulder. It's something about you have a. It's something about you being aware to what's going on around you. Men feel like you somebody where you are very you observe things. Um, but this is how they feel about y'all. They feel like you know this is how they feeling. Let me get one more card. And we're gonna move on to the um move on. We got faith. So you give men faith. Um, some of you guys, I'm going to break it down like this and read it for both ways. So for some of you guys, you come off as a, how men view you is you come off as like this dream partner. Like there are certain men that view you as having everything that they want. You have the looks, you have the attitude, um, you have the mindset that you're looking for. Um, and that makes men want to step into a provider role or that may, you make them want to protect you. Um, with the faith card being here as well, men can even believe in you as well. Um, they believe in you. Um, men can view as somebody that has a lot of faith. Um, you don't let um, men can even view as having a lot of faith. And with the next to the protection card here, that can even talk about you not losing faith. Um, you almost like you know you're protected. You not losing faith. And men, you come off like that. Men feel like you move like you can't be touched. I hear some of you guys here. Men feel like y'all move like I can't be touched. Men feel and uh, for some of you guys, men do feel like you can't be touched. There's something about you moving and carrying yourself. Like you can't be touched. And I'm not getting like an arrogant or an asshole. I'm just getting this energy where you kind of don't, you don't care about how other people feel about you. Um, you, you can't be touched by words, um, you know, things like that. And this is how men view you, you know, not letting certain things that people say that may usually trigger other people. You don't give a fuck about, um, you just don't care. You know, you know, that ain't you. So you just mind your business. And this is how men are feeling about y'all. So we're going to go in and move on some new set of cards. How is men viewing my pile? once because that's how they feel about you so let's see how they view y'all view, view, uh. oh we got victim victim conscious in reverse so men view as someone where you don't have that victim mentality where you always put yourself in situations and you think you don't do anything or you always put yourself um and you don't put yourself in um situations you don't put your okay sorry y'all agree in the comment but men view as someone where you don't have this victim conscious complex um men like the fact that you don't keep men like the fact that you don't put yourself in situations and then cry about it you know almost like knowing where things are going to end and constantly doing it knowing that it may not end good or things like that this is how men men view as a woman you have a lot of growth something about you um 
have a lot of growth a lot of things being instilled in you men feel like you would rather not have a victim conscious complex where you do something to people and then you feel like you didn't do anything wrong or you feel like you the innocent one in a situation they like that they like the fact that you can actually say take accountability um men also like the fact that you're somebody where you're self-aware something about you being self-aware they know that you're not a victim conscious kind of person where you blaming everything every you blaming your life onto other people you know almost like you know blaming your life for how the way your life is and blaming other people instead of changing your life they like that they notice men can view as mentally strong something about you being mentally strong we got cycles here next to that men view as the one where you would not stay in anything that is not supported anything that's not cooperating anything that's not successful men also view as somebody where you won't dumb yourself down to stay in a cycle with them you know um uh, men can feel like Men feel like you would not stay with them or whatever the case may be. It's I'm, I'm, I don't know how to necessarily say it. Men feel like you won't stay with them and be aloof, you know. You know, be uh, had this bit of conscience, you know. Feel like you're not doing anything wrong. Or feel like you um seeing that you're putting yourself in certain situations and you're not doing anything about it. There's something like that here. Men feel like you're very aware. Men feel like you feel like you're very wise. Um, They feel like you're someone when you don't have a um, bit some complex. Um, if you are in a situation, you don't like things the way it's going, you will do what you have to do to handle that. And this is how men are viewing you guys. Men also view you view as someone where they can't put you in a cycle. Sorry, but it's not the clear storage. But men view as a woman, you have high standards for yourself and you expect people to meet them. If they're not meeting them, you're not going to sit there and be in cycles with them. Um, you're, men also like the fact that you're not trying to change their mind or trying to change them. If you see someone's not doing what you need them to do or operating how you need them to operate, you move, you remove yourself. And men notice that. So men view as a woman, I'm hearing this is not a check or this is chess. This is literally what I keep hearing. Um, so, yeah. Ooh, we got entrapment. Ooh, see what I'm saying? It came out right next to cycles. Men, ooh, we got pay attention to the signs. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Men feel like you pay attention. You're very aware. Men feel like you see right through them. Uh, men also view as well. Again, you're not, you pay attention to shit. So you may notice when a motherfucker's starting to switch up or when they're not acting how they usually act. Um, You somebody where you also, when it, like for instance, when there's a situation going on, you and say you worried about something or a situation going on instead of you worrying yourself about it over and over constantly trying to find out answers and stuff like that you would rather just leave the moment where you have to step outside of yourself where you have to when any the men like the moment where you have to step outside of yourself out of your energy how you normally act and start when your mind start racing and all of that having to come up with answers you just remove yourself men feel like it's quicker for you to remove yourself from a situation that's not serving you than to stay and try to figure out why it's not working this is how men view you men also view as someone where you will walk away um you will men also view yeah you will walk away as well men feel like they can't take your power as well this is how men view you uh, men view as very attractive um, there's certain men that may want to, um, you know, take advantage of you in whatever shape or form, you know, lie to you, things like that. Those men notice that they can't keep you stuck as well. So you're so you're gonna take a resonance. A lot of messages here, but this is how men are viewing y'all. So let me go ahead and get some more messages. How are men viewing my pile too? Oh, we got the Ace of Pentacles. So men view as somebody that has a lot of opportunities. You always have new opportunities coming towards you. Um, you someone where you create the um things that you want to create. And that's why you have these opportunities that you have. Um, oh, we got the um, we got the Nine of Wands in reverse here. So men also view as someone you can come on. It's not for everyone, but men can even view as um. Let me see what's on the bottom of that before I say that. Okay, yeah, Nine of Wands. Oh, for some of y'all, men can feel like you're very stingy when it comes to giving up the cat, or you know, when it comes to giving up the D. For the ones that's interested in men, men can feel like you're very um stingy. Um, men also men feel like they can't buy you. It's something about men trying to offer you a gift or offer you money or do certain things with you or um it's something because I'm the way I'm looking at the card and the Nine of Wands is here. So men view you as someone where you're not like a H O E a three o four. Um, men view you as not being able to buy you. And I think that's another thing. Men find that to be attractive because they can't buy you. You're some of y'all you already stable, you already have things for yourself, and you don't you don't need to do that for you know what I'm saying? Men feel like they don't have to they they can't buy you. It's something about men feeling like they can't give you a gift or they can't impress you with finances. You won't compromise when it comes to something. We got the Knight of Wands being here as well. Men also feel like um you know how like for instance people deal or date people that, you know, got money, they spend money on them, but they also lie and cheat on them and stuff like that. You know, I'm getting like an NBA young boy where he may have his wife or whatever, but he also, you know, 
going out and about men can't do that type of shit with y'all you have standards something about you have a high standard for yourself and you expect that for other people you be at the four of wands a relationship men feel like you will refuse to get in a relationship with them if they're not offering you stability if you're not offering that support men also view as not getting anything with someone that can't provide you what you can't provide them this is what i'm seeing here so this is how men are viewing you men can want to date you they want to get in a relationship with you there are men that want to provide for you as well men can also view you as the one you come off like you got it on your own or you come off like you don't need anyone that's just for a few of you guys that's not for all of you guys even though y'all very charming very sweet some of you guys still come off as not wanting help or not needing anyone we got the empress here very attractive men view as very attractive men can want to offer you things because of your beauty men feel like you have pretty privilege or pretty handsome privilege they can want to give you things because of your beauty because of how attractive you look um for the ones that's not um interested in men men feel like you get a lot of opportunities because of your looks um you get a lot of opportunities that come to you because of the way that you act as well men can feel like um it's rare that other people will not want to date you or check for you because of how you act because of who you are we have the tempers here in reverse. Yeah, men feel like you don't um men feel like you don't do low vibrational shit for some of you guys. Men feel like um you're not gonna be self indulging in shit that don't bring you anything. So men view you as more you don't self indulge. And that could be anything. That could talk about going to parties and partying all the time, drinking, you know. That could even talk about excessively doing something. So men can feel like you someone where you don't have any addictions or you don't you come off like you don't do things excessively. Sorry if y'all hear any noise, that's people outside cutting grass or something so we got the nine of cups men view ooh, and nine of cups came right under the four of wands men will love when i say love men will love to have someone like you men will love to date you some men can want to start a family with you men view as marriage material here it's something about men view as marriage material so this is how men view you the view is very attractive very beautiful um they men feel like they can't offer you finances to get you as well you have a lot of um self-respect for yourself um men feel like you have a man feel like your standards are not high men feel like your standards you won't accept the less like there's something about you having standards and you're not accepting less men view as knowing your worth knowing how valuable you are men can you want to have kids with you or have a family with you you come off as marriage material men feel like you will fulfill them or make them happy men also view you as somebody that does not indulge in like and in overindulge in things i don't know that can talk about excessively eating i can talk about excessively drinking um partying men feel like um you don't men feel like you could have fun but not but not doing too much or whatever i don't know something here like that um men also feel like you won't compromise with them men feel like you you're not messing around but men feel like you're the life of the party so you get a lot of attention as well um, uh, y'all, it's talking about you getting a lot of attention. You're very smart, very smart, very wise. Men can even view you as uh, somebody that people would love to date, love to have. They can even view you as a lot of people wanting you. Men feel like you would not compromise with them if they're doing things. Men feel like you don't fuck with people that um that self indulge. So if there's a guy and he's drinking and he's doing all of that, and he don't got his life together. You're not fucking with them, fucking with him, or you're not being friends with him. This is how men view you guys. Yeah, we got the world card in reverse here as well. Um, there could even be men that you dated before that feels like things are not over. So there are certain men that date you and they feel like things are not done yet. Things are not over. The story has not been not done right in itself for a few of us. A man can even have a hard time of letting you go or, or something like that. So this is how men are viewing you guys. Um, so yeah. Um, if you find this resonating or you want a more in-depth reading, you know, comment down below, subscribe, um, hit the notification bell as well. Don't forget that. But if you want a more in-depth reading, um, my Patreon is down below as well as personal reading. So until next time, babe. Bye.